This part belongs to the previous one. In the space below, draw a label diagram of the apparatus setup so that electromagnetic induction may be demonstrated. In this part, he says that we have a magnet, solenoid, and other necessary apparatus. This is the solenoid. We will connect the two ends of the solenoid together with a galvanometer or an ammeter or any other device that can detect the passage of current. This is the magnet, and this is how we will move the magnet. This is how we will demonstrate electromagnetic induction. The two marks are given for solenoid ends connected to meter or lamp. Any sign of a cell gets zero. In electromagnetic induction, you will produce an electric current, so you can never draw a cell or anything that will produce current. This will not be electromagnetic induction. This is the first mark. The second mark is for drawing the magnet in a suitable position on the axis of the solenoid. And we drew our magnet in a perfect position to the solenoid. So later it will be pushed inside the solenoid and withdrawn outside from it. Question C. Describe how you would use the apparatus to demonstrate electromagnetic induction. Simply moving the magnet into the solenoid and then withdraw it out of the solenoid. This will produce an electric current. So we can say, move the magnet into the coil. The galvanometer pointer will deflect instantaneously, indicating the passage of the current. This question is also for two marks. The first mark is for mentioning that you will insert or withdraw the magnet into or out of the solenoid. This is the first mark. This is what you will do. The second mark is for what you will observe. Meter gives reading as magnet moves or watch the meter or you can put a lamp and say the lamp will glow. This is your observation and this is the second mark. We mentioned the movement of the magnet and we mentioned our observation that the galvanometer pointer will deflect. These are the two marks of the question. Question D. A direct and simple question. State two ways of increasing the magnitude of the induced EMF in this experiment. The first thing we think about is increasing number of turnings of the coil. Also, we think about using a stronger magnet. But also, there are other things. Any two of the following will give the two marks. Move magnet faster. Increase strength of the magnet. More turns of the solenoid, we can also say closer to solenoid. Any two of these four will get the two marks. We already mentioned the easiest two of them.